So if you're researching spray foam insulation, I'm sure you wanna know about the pros and cons of it. Well, we're gonna talk about some of the main pros and all of, which is just a couple, of the cons of spray foam insulation. Let's talk about it. So let's dive into the pros of spray foam insulation. Well, obviously we need to talk about its air seal or the fact that it's air impermeable. This is absolutely crucial because it establishes the building envelope, which you need to do on the outside of your home. So keep that in mind. If it, your insulation material does not create an air seal, that's a big problem. The next thing is spray foam's longevity. Most contractors will say that spray foam can last the lifetime of the building. So this is absolutely an advantage compared to some insulation materials that have to be replaced sometimes as often as every 10 to 15 years. And lastly, I do want to touch on the fact that spray foam simply outperforms other insulation materials. If you compare it to a fiberglass or a cellulose, it simply stops more heat loss. So if you're looking at in any type of metric, spray foam insulation is simply a better insulator. It stops the flow of heat transfer far better than a fiberglass or a cellulose. So its performance alone is a huge advantage. If you're liking what you're hearing about spray foam insulation, go below, like this video, subscribe to our channel. So now let's cover the cons of spray foam insulation. There's really only two. The first and most obvious is going to be the cost. Now obviously spray foam insulation is going to have a higher upfront cost uh, compared to a cellulose or a fiberglass option. Now when you look at the value and the performance that spray foam brings to the table, you realize it really is worth that upfront cost and it will pay for itself much faster comparing to fiberglass or cellulose. However, there is no secret that the upfront cost of spray foam is going to be higher. The second con to spray foam is that it is an ever-growing market right now. Now, and there are a lot of different formulas of spray foam out there and that means you as the consumer need to do your research. You need to vet your contractors, ask what products they're using, ask for the documents supporting for that material, know exactly what is being put into your home. So yes, this does create a little bit more homework for you, the homeowner. However, if you put the time and you do this work and you do find a competent contractor to answer your questions and guide you, you will get the best performing product you absolutely can. Since you're looking into spray foam insulation, something you may not be aware of is that you can actually inject foam insulation into your exterior walls without having to tear down the drywall. If you wanna learn more about this process, please click the link below to find a dealer near you. This is the Professor Foam reminding you that building is a science.